I must be careful now.
This place is heavily guarded.
This land bears steep affliction.
Heads up, Kern! <laughs>
must be close to a shelter. A dwarf mark. They must be in hiding nearby. A runic symbol. A shelter must be close. the way to a dwarven shelter. A runic symbol. A shelter must be close. If Baldur were here, he would surely fight on that dwarf mark. They must be in hiding nearby. If Baldur were here, he would surely find wonder in these crystals. He has a child's innocence, my boy. I pray he has it still after. All of this, these dwarves, I need them. Though it chafes me to admit it. Be gracious, Harvey. Humble and patient. This points the way to a dwarven shelter. If I follow, they will lead me to... The gift was some work, yes. Frida offers much to choose from. Success means a reward. Fame. Don't be a stranger. Ah, an outsider. Tell me, stranger, have you seen any heaps of dwarven bodies piled high, moose spells reaving the land, ruined villages? Well, there have been. As I thought, the invasion is nothing but a fiction, dreamed up by our rich masters so they can add to their wealth. Well, two can play at that game. Many rare gems lie unguarded while we hide underground. Bring them to me, and I will see you well rewarded. You do not believe there's been an invasion? Control, young Aesir. It's all about control. If you aren't a shepherd, you're a sheep. But you could simply go outside and see for yourself. I don't need to. It's already plain as day. Oh, don't tell me you've fallen for it too. The muspels I have slain were no lie. And I've seen more dead dwarves than I can count. Oh, no. Yeah, you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, spare me your falsehood, serpent tongue. The truth cannot be denied. I'll see what I can find for you. If the were still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. Oh, good day there! 
May fortune shine upon you as it has on me. <laughs> You're very light of heart, considering the plight of your people. Oh, it's a tragedy, no doubt. But life's about searching for that glimmer of gold. <laughs> I'm happier here than I ever was before. I would welcome a glad tale. There have been few enough of late. I'm a blacksmith. Good as any man. <sighs> but you try telling that to them up there. If you don't have hairy forearms and a beard, they'll go somewhere else. Business was bad. No one gave me a chance. Thought a woman's hammer toil was inferior. Those clod-brained dunces. Then, the invasion. We fled to this shelter, and I'm the only smith down here. Are they paying attention now? <laughs> you bet they are. The finest armor. The sharpest swords. They sing the praises of Elga the smith now. <laughs> Just sad so many had to die for them to see it. Anything else? Farewell. Good to see you. <sighs> Who goes there? I am Harvey, Lord of Asgard. You. You're a long way from home. Or the Asir now invading us as well. Jailer of Ivaldi. Ha! <laughs> Ivaldi owes me his freedom. Where is he? I would speak with him. <laughs> Be my guest. I assume you know the way to Helheim. He's... He's dead. How? How else? Or do you need both eyes to see the moose spells everywhere? <sighs> that was uncalled for. I... Walk with me. I am Gundborg, leader of this shelter, or what remains of it now Ivaldi has gone. He was trying to make contact with the other shelters. There was an ambush, Glot's soldiers, and something else, something worse. A creature of fire and fury, it... it devoured Ivaldi whole. No doubt bred in Suture's dungeons. Perhaps with Loki's aid, before I could make him my captive. You and your captives. Regardless, Uldar fell soon after Ivaldi did. Our mines and miners, any survivors now serve Glod. Is that name meant to mean anything to me? Glod is Sutar's bastard son, half Muspel, half Jotun. A nightmarish being, capable of tearing a dwarf in two. An unthinkable end for anyone. Whether warrior or otherwise. I saw it with my own eyes. I still see it when I try to sleep. And yet, blood has not simply slaughtered your people. He you needs your minus. To what end? The invaders' hunger for secrets buried deep in the ground. Ancient relics. The moose spells place great importance in them. And how do you know this? Enough, Javi. We have suffered enough. Now I must endure all these questions. Aid me with your knowledge, and I shall strike a blow against Glod and all Muspels. 
In Uldor, we had someone gathering information for us. The miner, Frithjolver. He's been silent for days now. We're just unlike him. Probably dead for all I know. Anything sought by the Muspels must be mine. Where was Frithjolver last seen? Perhaps I can find him. There is a house in Uldor, its owners killed by Muspels long ago. There we would exchange messages with him. This house? How do I find it? It's the tallest house in the Jewelers District, by the city's south gate. Just look for the gold in the streets. You'll see. Frithjofer may be the key to obtaining these relics Sutor seeks. I must find him. Do as you must, Lord of Asgard. I have too many burdens of my own to worry about yours as well. I'd ask that if you have no plans to be of use to us, then continue on your path. My people need me. No worries. Oh, and us, you! Me or oh my! Oh, you aren't followed, were you? Songs of my deeds follow me. My enemies do not. Well, if you're sure. Not many know this place, not even the other dwarves. That's how we'd like to keep it. You prize your secrecy here, even more than other dwarves I've met. Well, of course. They'd only just discovered this place when the invasion began. Those of us nearby were herded in quick. Best thing we can do now is to keep our heads down. Don't need strangers going in and out, bringing who knows what to our door. I am no friend to Muspol or Jotun. Glad to hear it. See that it stays that way. Anything else? Speak up! Enough of this. No one in Svartalheim is safe. If we flee, we leave everything behind. Here comes another one. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll be careful this time. Yes, no need to remind me. Now it was only a little blood. Who are you talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Us. <clears throat> I'm speaking to no one, good sir. Take a seat. Let me get my needles and blades. You spoke of voices when none are to be heard. Are you moon-touched? Voices? <laughs> the very idea that crystals can talk and that they would be speaking to me. It is you who is mad for even suggesting it. I made no mention of crystals. Ah, that's because they don't talk to you. You're not special. I think you've been down here a very long time. May I see your stores?
Anything else? I might just try elsewhere. The risk is too great. Why are we here when blood is so close? Oh, sweet me, dry ale. We eat acorns. What do you want? What do you want? I 